Hello, hello! Guess what? It's Trailer Tuesday! <laughs> what? Okay, that was funny. <laughs> okay. <sighs> now are we happy? Yeah! <laughs> So we cracked ourselves up making that photo, but we were upset because we flooded! We flooded our trailer. I'm gonna end the suspense and tell you it has a good ending, but in the beginning, it didn't feel good at all. So here's what happened. We put the trailer away in December because we had a big snow. I mean, we were without power for eight days. Yeah. So we put tarps over our two trailers. We have the old hybrid that we're probably gonna let go this spring, maybe. It's hard to let go of something we love, but uh, we do love this trailer and we're keeping it. So we had to cover up both our trailers. So we got tarps, put them over it, everything's good. And then we kind of, we were thinking about going somewhere in December, but it was just hard because of that eight days. And so fast forward, we would like to go somewhere now. And so we're thinking the ocean, it's kind of cold in the mountains and snowy, so it's the ocean. And um, I started thinking about, well, getting the trailer ready and stuff. So we wanted to open up these tarps without taking them off because we still aren't through with winter. So Hoppy came up with a really good idea for taking the tarps sort of off. So let me just show you that. Well, that's interesting. Uh, what is the bar for? This PVC pipe? In theory, I would love to have it go all the way across, but this is the biggest bar I have. I've got a little rope going to the top, and it's tied here. <laughs> it's going to go up like a shade. I, it's, I know it's not going to work too well, but it would be better than trying to do it one little piece at a time. I'm interested to see how this works. Me too. Hubby is always inventing things. He wanted to just pull up the sides, but still leave the tarp in case there's more rain. And I said, okay. So he has put this bar on so that he can just pull up the sides only. And let's see if that works. Yes, please. All right. Good luck. I believe in you. Well, that's perfect. I'd say that was a success. Except this door's still covered. I'm sure you know that. You drew it on the other side too? Yeah. Yay! Good job. It'll be easy to put down too. Yeah, I think so. Well, I applaud you. Let's do it. Is it? I'll bet. Right. Good girl. Yeah. Make sure nothing catches by the TV. Yeah. Close, but not. Look for leaks. Well, shouldn't be any with a tarp on top. That's true. Should be fine. Okay, so we got the tarps pulled up and I could, you know, have some light in there, heat it up a little. And I said, I want to do some cleaning, you know, clean up. Can I have water? So, you know, we don't hook up water when we're in our driveway. So he hooked up the water and it flooded. It flooded. It flooded. So tell about that. Well, initially it was the uh, the bathroom faucet. When I turned the water pressure all the way on, I could hear it just you know blasting out underneath the the bathroom sink. So I turned oh it off, God. and um, I didn't realize at the same time, of course, I had put in a new faucet on the kitchen sink, and it was also blasting out. 
So once I fix the bathroom faucet, no, there's no leak. But wait a second, what's that other sound of a waterfall going oh my on? God. Oh my and God. all of going everywhere. All of the drawers were <laughs> slosh full of water. Everything was full of water. Every little, yeah. every little, you know, container was full of water. Oh my gosh, what a mess! It's bad. So water got inside the drawers. Yeah, the drawers filled up except for the bottom one. We got all through the bottom oh, it was all cleaned up when I was in here a few minutes ago. Yeah. It's better yep. to happen here than on a trip, right? Yep. So once it's all dried out, then you'll figure out what's wrong? Yeah. Well, it's, it's a water connection, but we'll figure it out. All right. Thanks. What a mess. All these drawers got filled up with water. And now they've been drying out. <sighs> Must have something to do with the new faucet he put in, he's thinking. And it's hard to see up in there behind. So he says he could fix it. I believe that all this got wet. Boo hoo. Trying to clean up and put it all away again. So we pulled out everything, we pulled out all the drawers and got them all dry, left the heater on so we get dry in there and um, all that was left is to figure out how to stop it from happening again. Once we turned off the water, we'd like to have water. Yeah. So that was up to you to fix. Yeah, and RV plumbing is nothing like house plumbing. It's, it's little tiny thin tubes and pretty flimsy connections that have to be pretty precise and so that was a that was an, a, a learning curve also plus the inaccessibility uh because of the way everything's built um it was very difficult to you know just get your hands in there to actually get the tubes lined up with but you with got the bathroom fixed got the bathroom fixed and um <clears throat> and ultimately the sink kept leaking but uh, finally spent about three hours and with uh, with my left hand uh, was able to. But you to, couldn't see. I couldn't see a thing. No, it was so getting. So you're going by feel. Yeah, it was like some kind of a challenge. I kept saying, yeah. "Should we take it to the repair guy?" No, <laughs> no, because I knew it'd be his left hand instead of mine. So I'd just be paying more money for that. Uh, but so, you fixed it. Yes. And we have tested it. Yeah, we've tested we it. We tested it, and yeah. so we got everything put away. And it's all fixed back up again and we're ready to go. So the last time we went on a trip, we did boondocking. And um, if you've watched that video, I'll put it up here so you can watch it. Now, we had to end our trip one day early because our heater quit working and we couldn't figure it out. It stopped in the night. It kept coming on for just 30 seconds and shutting off. And um, we were Googling all the different we found out a lot about like where our fuses are. Yes. And we found out all kinds of stuff. We didn't even know that. So we were both pretty sure that it was the battery because that just seemed to be the one thing. Everything worked when the generator was hooked up to the trailer, but when the battery was, it just wasn't working, even though the light said it should, right? Yeah. So we took the batteries down to our auto store and had them tested and they were dead. Yes. Dead, not chargeable. And they were also 13 years old. So note to self, if you buy a new trailer, check your battery. Yeah, and, and what kind of battery it is. It's not a car battery, it's a, it's a marine battery. And uh, just uh, also note, you know, be very careful picking those darn things up. They, they're they so heavy. It, they're, I'd say they're 100 pounds at least. And you gotta, they have like holes on them, so you gotta kind of pull them up with coat hangers or something. It was just really, really difficult to do that. So, um, yeah, and I pick up car batteries all the time, but marine batteries, man, those are heavy suckers. So after we took them and got tested, we, we discarded them. We, they, they took them for us. And then we brought down our other batteries from our other trailer, which were still new. I mean, we barely used it. But um, we just wanted to make sure that just sitting there for a, a year or two didn't hurt them. You know, we haven't been on as many trips since COVID hit. And so we just had to have those batteries checked. So hubby took them down and they said... A-okay. A-okay. Yeah. So he took those heavy batteries and put them on this trailer. And so that is what we're going to use. And when you swap out batteries, take a picture of it because it made no sense to me the way they have the connection set up. I mean, I've got one wire going from positive to negative between the two batteries and I would have never, ever, ever done that. But because I had a picture of it, I did it and it worked. So wow, always scary. make sure to take a picture of what you're taking out before you start putting something back scary. in. Scary. Yeah. So we've got the batteries 
and we're flooding is fixed. We're ready to go. We made a reservation this morning to go to the ocean. And we're actually staying in a redwood park uh, about 15 minutes from the ocean. So we're gonna get redwoods and ocean. It's, I'm really excited. I'm ready to start packing the trailer and getting going, ready to go. And we'll take you with us. Absolutely. So all is well, that ends well, right? So far it has ended well. Yes, yes, she's right, okay? <laughs> she's right. What are you saying, what's next? There's always something next. Always something next. Well, the cool thing about this park is no boondocking. We have hookups, internet, the whole the whole shebang. Should be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. And we have nice weather mm. coming up. It's just I'm I'm just really happy. What happened to winter? There's no winter. Well, there still will be winter. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed our little trailer update, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now. How'd we do? I think we did okay. You do? Yes. Okay. That's good.